Good morning, it is Woodman here. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday, July 21st, 2024, and I'm so glad you're here. First off, a big shout out to our amazing subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. This is a safe space. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never have to miss an update. Now, before we dive into today's content, I want to give a quick disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, a psychiatrist, accountant, or any other type of professional that would be giving you advice. If you have any specific questions or concerns related to those areas, please consult a qualified professional. I'm also not giving any legal advice here to anyone. No contractual relationship is formed. And if you have a legal question, I would suggest that you please consult with an attorney. Also, for legal purposes, I have to remind everyone that everything I talk about here is for entertainment purposes only. That said, however, you all know what time it is about spirituality. So, hey, if you know, you know. <laughs> On that note, let's start off with a quick prayer so we can set our intentions and we can call in to the universe to try to receive downloads of the highest guidance. Dear Most High God, Messiah, Jesus Christ, Sophia, our beloved ancestors, spirit guides, ascended masters, source and spirit of the universe. We come before you today with open hearts, open minds, seeking your divine presence and eternal wisdom. Thank you for your endless love, guidance, and protection. As we gather here, we ask for your light to shine upon us, illuminating our paths and filling us with your peace and unconditional love and understanding. Grant us the strength to overcome any obstacles and the clarity to see the truth May our actions be guided by your love, and may we always strive to align with our highest purpose. We ask for your blessings on our community, and we may grow together on this channel in faith and wisdom. In your holy name, we pray, most high God, amen. This is a channel where we seek to raise our vibrations. Raising your vibration is a way to connect with higher vibrational beings or to attract like energy. Additionally, it is an important way to release old patterns and binding limitations and to align ourselves with our highest self. And if you really want to know about how you raise your vibration, there are many ways to do it. But here are a few examples of what you can do to try to raise your vibration. Practice gratitude. Reflecting on what you have can lead to contentment, clarity, and a positive mindset. You didn't arrive here overnight. You may have went through a lot of struggles and journeys, but along the way, you have things to be thankful for. So always practice that attitude of gratitude. Spend time in nature. You want to ground yourself. Nature is said to have high vibrations and can help you center and realign yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. You can try walking in the woods, gardening, or sitting by an open window. Eating high vibrational foods. Organic, unprocessed foods like raw fruits and vegetables are generally considered to have higher vibrations. You can also try to avoid simple carbohydrates, fast food, high caloric content, and foods with preservatives, synthetic colors, and chemical additives. Practice kindness. A smile or a kind word can make a difference in someone's day. It can lead to positive mental and physical changes for you as well. Practice meditation. Daily meditation can help you to eliminate any spiritual garbage that no longer serves your best interests or your spiritual growth. That said, all right, everyone, let's get into today's topic. 
the main topic of the video that I want to talk about today is sex magic. And sex magic is something that gets covered um, a lot in different contexts. But I really want to talk about the concept and the impact it has on you spiritually along with any worrisome demonic considerations. The concept of sex magic itself involves using sexual energy and acts to achieve specific spiritual, magical, or physical outcomes. Practitioners of sex magic believe that sexual energy is powerful and can be harnessed for manifesting desires, influencing events, and achieving personal transformation. This practice is found in various spiritual traditions, including Western occultism, Tantra, and certain pagan rituals. But of course, we have to be cautious with this because there is obviously an easy way to use sex magic for wrongdoing and evil. Let's talk about some biblical passages. The Bible contains several passages that can be interpreted as warnings against the misuse of sexual energy and magic. If we look at Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 10 to 12, it says, Let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, or engages in witchcraft. In 1 Corinthians 6, 18, it advises to flee from sexual immorality, all other sins a person commits are outside the body, but whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. In Revelation chapter 2, verse 20, Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet. By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food, which is sacrificed to idols. In Hosea chapter 4, verse 14, it indicates, I will not punish your daughters when they turn to prostitution, nor your daughters-in-law when they commit adultery, because the men themselves consort with harlots and sacrifice with shrine prostitutes. A people without understanding will come to ruin. These passages reflect against a broader biblical warning against practices considered to misuse spiritual or sexual energy, including sex magic, as they can lead to spiritual corruption and separation from God. They also specifically address temple prostitution and ritualistic sex used in the worship of false gods, illustrating the moral and spiritual dangers of such practices. Now keep in mind, while there were some general bans against witchcraft discussed there, I'm not telling anyone how to live their life, how to use magic, how to do divination, how to be in line with the Most High God. That is a personal journey. And so I'm just talking about the misuse of it, how it's used to harm people, not the positive connotations. In spiritual teachings, the Jezebel spirit is often associated with manipulation, control, sexual immorality. This spirit is believed to influence individuals to lead others into sexual sin and idolatry. Demon entities and principalities can use sexual energy as a gateway to corrupt individuals derail their spiritual journey, and weaken their connection to the divine. And remember, sometimes our crown chakra is sometimes literally a path or a gateway to source. The demon Asmodeus is often linked to lust and perversion, and is believed to use his minions to target spiritually inclined individuals. By corrupting their sexual energy, he aims to divert them from their life purpose and tarnish their divinity. And if you're like me on this channel, there are many chosen ones out there. So you are like a bright beacon drawing in these evil entities. There are other spiritual texts that warn against this as well. Other spiritual traditions um, like Tantra, for example, the practice is considered sacred and should be approached with respect and purity. Misusing sexual energy for selfish or harmful purposes is highly warned against. There's also the issue of stealing energy and mimicry. Practitioners of sex magic, particularly those with malicious intent, can use it to siphon energy from others. This is often described as forming soul ties through sexual relations which can be manipulative and draining. Over time, 
adept practitioners can mimic the energies and characteristics of their victims and targets, trying to fool the universe, so to speak, and others into believing they possess the same qualities and blessings as their targets. Keep in mind, this is a form of envy. It is not this person cares for this other person, but rather they care about what they have and they want to use that for themselves and they twist sex magic to achieve that outcome. It also impacts your chakras. Sex magic can uh, profoundly affect the chakras, the energy centers in the body. Uh, it'll have an effect on the root chakra, which is associated with survival and security. Negative sex magic can cause instability and fear. Your sacral chakra, it is linked to creativity and sexual energy. It can be directly impacted, leading to issues with sexuality and emotional expression. Your solar plexus chakra, related to personal power and confidence, it can cause a loss of self-esteem as well as loss of personal power. So what is the importance from re refraining from what we would call loose sexual activities. And I'm not telling you to out and out, don't have premarital sex, although it's probably a good idea, but I'm not telling you to do that because this, this is not what this is about. But refraining from loose sex with many partners in many traditions is avoided because this results in unintended energy exchanges and soul ties. Engaging in sexual activity without a committed, respectful relationship can make individuals vulnerable, vulnerable, I can talk, I can talk, vulnerable to manipulation as well as a loss of personal power. So after all is said and done, let's try to bring this all together and summarize. Sex magic, while potentially transformative, carries significant risks, especially when used unethically. Biblical and other spiritual texts warn against its misuse due to the potential for spiritual and physical harm. Protecting one's energy through careful, respectful relationships is probably crucial to prevent from becoming a victim of manipulative practices. Again, I'm not telling you don't have premarital sex, but if you're going to do it, do it with someone who's like virtually a committed relationship, someone who respects the relationship, someone who's more like a life partner. Spiritual and demonic forces um, are always trying to attack, they're at the edge, and so you have to be careful because there's some people who will come in and use you for that purpose, and you wanna avoid that, you wanna remain in your life purpose, you wanna remain on your path, you wanna be vibrating at higher and higher levels, you don't wanna dabble too much in denser energies or lower vibrational spiritual practices. I hope you enjoyed this message for today. Once again, if you're new here, this is a safe space, you're welcome. If you're returning, your support makes this channel. I'm glad that you continue to stay along for the ride. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful and blessed day as Woodman signing off here. I love you. I love you. I love you. Take care and have a great day. Bye.